I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to the Grassroots Business Journal. I am your host, Paul Willis, where talking business meets social media. Today, as our guest, we have Donna Wurtenbach, President and CEO of the Community Economic and Development Fund. Don, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much, Paul, for this opportunity. We really appreciate it. Excellent, excellent. We've been talking a little bit about our last segment, some of the um, uh, broader concepts mm -hmm. of uh, that small business owners need to be aware of, et cetera. Maybe in this segment here, we can begin with a little bit of uh, a background so that our audience will be able to understand what your organization really is about. So maybe just a brief um, history about what the organization is and some of the services. Sure. Uh, the Community Economic Development Fund has been around since 1994. We are a statewide organization. We are a private economic development, nonprofit organization, and our mission is to help businesses develop. So we provide a holistic approach of resources which are constantly being adapted and added to and modified uh, that help small businesses be successful. Our goal is long-term impact to Connecticut's economy, both for the benefit of the business owner and the state of Connecticut, so even though we're not a state agency. Uh, and so we provide all sorts of resources for them. Uh, as we were mentioning in the prior segment, we are now offering some workshops on helping people who are thinking about starting a business make that decision based on facts and, and in-depth analysis. Am I an entrepreneur? Am I not an entrepreneur? Is this the direction I really want to go in? They need people to bounce these ideas off of and help them walk through some of the variables that they need to use to deal with this. We also provide um, a variety of workshops that small business owners existing and otherwise can take that help them fine-tune their business skills so that they maximize their profitability and they minimize their their failures and do risk mitigation. Uh, so we have all sorts of different workshops. We have workshops on helping people understand their numbers in their business, which some people are afraid of looking at. Uh, we help people make sure that they've got a good bookkeeping system. We teach QuickBooks. We give them the software. We get them up and operational. Now, do you see the workshops? Is it during the day? Is it during the evening? How does it work uh, for the uh, for for the owners as far as having the time to attend these wor uh, right. workshops? Right now, the classes are offered at night because most business owners are busy running their business during the day. We're currently looking at the possibilities of maybe offering some Saturday workshops or some early morning workshops because that's also a, su a successful opportunity for many small businesses. We basically will design whatever the small business community needs in terms of these kinds of workshops. We offer them all over the state of Connecticut so people can have easy access and they can increase their potential for success. We also provide loans to small businesses. The loans are designed for people who cannot get a loan from a bank, and we all know what those reasons are. You don't own a home, or if you did, it's now underwater, or it doesn't have the equity in it it used to have. Your credit score, which used to be hmm, tolerable, has now dropped, probably to minimal fault of your own because they changed the system for setting credit scores, and you had no control over that. But those kinds of things, and your cash flow is tight because we're coming out of a recession. So those kinds of things might be variables that would prevent you from being able to get capital from a traditional banking system. We have most of the banks in Connecticut investing in us so that we can help those small businesses that can't get help from a bank. So we provide working capital up to $250,000 for almost any legal business purpose um, to help them run their business. We design our loans 
uniquely to meet the individual cash flow of each individual business. So no two business loans look the same at CEDF. We look at what their needs are, we take a look at what their um, financial capabilities are, and we design a product that meets their financial needs and gives them the flexibility they're going to need to anticipate for ups and downs and bumps in the road because there will always be some. So we have all sorts of loan pool capital available. Um, we do, you know, I could go through the litany. We do lines of credit and we do term loans. The important thing is that people don't really need to learn all the minutiae of all the different kinds of loan products that CEDF has. You just need to trust us and come to us and say, here's what I need and know that we will design the best unique product for you that can possibly be put together, whether it's our resources or somebody else's resources, because we're always staying on top of that. Because most business owners need more than just money, then we also provide all of our loan clients with a free business advisor. I was going to mention a little bit about that, which I felt it was very interesting. Can you explain a little bit about that aspect of having I would, I would term it almost like your own tutor. It's a business advisor that will come out and meet with you at least monthly. Um, more often if you need it, you can call them at any point in time. It's your own business advisor. It's the same person all the time. They will come out and they will brainstorm ideas with you. They will help you evaluate what's going on in your business. They will make suggestions on new ideas that you have. The ultimate business decisions are obviously in the hands of the business owner, but it gives them a sounding board that they can rely on and someone who is working with them on a continuous basis, month in and month out, and know their business. Larger corporations hire people like this. Most of the people in the community that we work with that are outside of the bankable world or they're you know, low mod income kinds of individuals, they can't afford to hire these kinds of people. And so we provide them with a free business advisor who will meet with them on a regular basis. Okay. The ultimate point is to work with the business owner as a team and to help them reach the maximum success that they choose to reach for themselves. What we say is we're there to help them reach their dreams, however they define that. Okay. One area that you had mentioned about um, in our uh, private discussions, mm -hmm. and I think it's a, it's a very good question, uh, or very good topic to deal with, and that is what is the standard assumption that a small business owner uh, makes about uh, their resources or what resources are out there. What, what's the standard assumption? For the community that we serve, unfortunately most of them, as the banks started pulling back, now the, ba the banks are back. They're, they're lending now more than they used to be and we're very pleased to see that. Uh, but they work from the assumption of, oh, there are no really good resources out there for me. You know, they, they're all designed for successful business owners with lots of money. And that just isn't true. There are all sorts of resources available to the community. And the sad thing is that frequently the community is unaware of those resources or doesn't believe that those resources are really there for them. CEDF has been designed specifically for the community and the biggest mistake they can make is not to call. They lose nothing by placing a phone call and asking. And probably we are going to be able to help them solve whatever their problem du jour is. So they need to stop assuming, well, there is nothing there for me when there is a lot there for them and they need to start capitalizing on that. Okay. You had also mentioned that a good practice that a business owner should do um, is to review certain aspects of their books on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Why do that and should business owners be doing that on a regular basis? Well, that's something that more successful businesses do every single month. I mean, they have staff who do nothing but do this. And it's important for business owners to understand that their numbers are screaming at them, sending them messages. Every single month, they're, they're sending the messages. That advertising campaign didn't really work because it cost me $10,000 to get one new customer who generated $1,000 of new business. 
I need to reevaluate that. Your numbers will tell you that. Until people get comfortable reading their numbers, they're not going to use them. It's just a fact of life. So one of our goals is to try and get business owners to the point where they learn how to read their numbers and get the information off that their books are screaming at them so that they don't keep making the same mistake using this example of advertising, spending the money month after month after month after month when it's not yielding the results they want. So being knowledge is power and being able to take classes and understand business finances and use your books in being able to make your day-to-day -day decisions is critical for risk mitigation and pain prevention. That sounds good. You like that? I, huh? I, I like that. I think that... Uh, and it's that not hard. You know, what people, people are afraid of numbers because they think it's some big, sophisticated, complicated problem. And as I said to you earlier, people do budgeting and financial management every time they go to the grocery store. How much time is involved in doing it? To do this activity on a regular basis, how much time is taken up? Is it a short period of time? Is it something that they could easily manage? The first step is to get the knowledge you need. And that's our four night or four session workshop on understanding your business financials and knowing how to read what the business financials are screaming at you. After that, they should be able to sit down on a monthly basis, invest a couple of hours and be able to watch this. And if they were ever to calculate how much money that couple of hours is making them, I'm gonna go back to my example, $10,000 advertising to generate $1,000 worth of business, they spend two hours making $9,000, not a bad return, mm -hmm. by figuring out that they need to stop that advertising campaign and plan a new one. So it doesn't take a lot of time to view or to and look at success. And they make money success. off of it. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I just want to tell our audience that there's a, a wealth of information that Donna and her organization really has to really offer for your, uh, you. for your small business. And um, I know our time is not as um, uh, lengthy to go into a lot of details, but I'm certainly hoping that you're, you will give them a call. And what, what, would call. Be a phone, what would be a phone number to call? 203-235-2333. If you want to reach me directly, my extension is 2080. We are there to help. Please don't make the mistake of not calling. Please call and ask for whatever you need. And if there is any way we can help you get that, we will do that. Excellent. Another question that I, I looked at was, um, I see that education is a major component of the organization. Mm -hmm. What is your relationship that you have within the school systems, whether it be the high schools, whether it be the colleges, what is your involvement with those educational institutions? Oh dear, I hate to admit it, but non-existent. Um, I am a firm believer that we need to be doing more in our public school system to be teaching kids the basic skills of money. And many of the problems that, in my opinion, we our society has run into, the whole mortgage debacle, was, in my opinion, preventable if we had just educated kids in the public school systems on how this sort of stuff works. They would not have been as prone to some of the products that people gobbled up innocently, um, assuming that the people selling the products were looking out for them, which they obviously were not. Um, and so adding these kinds of things to our public schools, the Junior Achievement Program's wonderful. I can't say enough good things about them. Generally speaking, we work exclusively with adults and we design our programs specifically to meet the needs of adult people who may or may not have had a good educational background. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's irrelevant to us because the basics that we are going to be teaching, as I said, you do it every day when you go to the grocery store, we can teach these basics to anybody. That sounds good. I want to just very briefly just for Again, very briefly, we're coming up to about a minute left. Um, first of all, I'd like to invite you back for another uh, series. Thank you. I would love and, to do that. And uh, to, to really get more in-depth into really the different issues that are out there. Um, very, very quickly, the loan process, is it consuming or is it simple for the uh, small business owner? Depends upon how well prepared they are. 
If they've done the planning that they need to do, it's pretty simple. Um, they're going to fill out an application form. They're going to send us a copy of their business plan. And if they've been in business, they're going to send us their tax returns. And then we're going to sit down one on one with them and go from there. Um, if they haven't written a business plan, they need to do that. And they don't need to write the business plan to please us. They need to write the business plan because it is their roadmap for driving their business on a month to month basis. So if they've done that kind of planning, then they're going to zip through the process. If they haven't done that kind of planning, then we are going to encourage them to do that. Okay. Well, as I said, our time has uh, come to an end here for today. Thank you so much. Uh, Donna, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you for the opportunity. Absol Please call. Absolutely. Donna Wartenbeck, Community Economic and Development Funding President and CEO. It's been a pleasure. Again, if you have any questions, please give me a call at 860-490-8856. Uh, until next time, you've been watching Grassroots Business Journal. I've been your host, Paul Willis. Until next time, keep talking business and see you.